Hello everybody, I'm Mike. And I am Dave. And we are Mike Travel. Travel. Our aim today is to show you the difference between the inclusive drinks package and the premium drinks package. Uh, we were on Morella Discovery 2, although I would imagine um, these drinks are pretty standard across the whole of Morella range. We hope that with the prices, uh, it should help you to work out whether the premium package is the right one for you. Uh, we have our views on that and we will give those throughout this video and some of the tips that, that we learnt along the way. So for anybody thinking about getting a drinks package on board um, above the standard package, you can buy that before you go onto the cruise ship for £70 per person per week. So on a two week cruise that comes to £140, which is good value for money. However, we will be stripping that down over the course of this video. Uh, if you do it on the boat, unfortunately, you will be paying an extra £10 per week more at a cost of £80 per week per person. So a great tip for you, if you want to save yourself money on buying the premium drinks package, buy it early and save yourself £10 per person per week. So on board the Morella um, Discovery 2 or any of the Morella ships, you will notice you have to use the Navigate app and on the Navigate app it will show you the different menus for different bars. It will show you what drinks are available etc. We found this quite difficult to understand. Um, it, it's not as plain forward as it would be in a booklet. So we, when we were in um, 47 restaurant, we asked one of our waiters if he had a spare and he fortunately found us one and that made it so much easier. So if you're out and about on the boat, don't be afraid to ask the waiters if they can find you an into the drink menu booklet. This first page shows the inclusive wines and fizz and also the premium all-inclusive wines and fizz. Uh, I have to say that I thought uh, even with the premium added, the choice of wines was a little bit limited. We add 1964 wine more often, it's the one that we enjoyed most, uh, but as I say, I do think that the wines uh, are not very extensive. Also, um, when we did have wine, quite often they were served warm, and uh, although the waiters were brilliant and always took it back to chill it a bit more, uh, I think probably more training could be done in the restaurants as to regarding uh, the wine and how it's served. I agree with you there, Mike. Um, also, the beers I had a problem with. Um, we paid for a premium um, sort of drinks package and on the premium, we were only really getting a few items that I would class as premium. So when you look at the standard package, uh, in the cans and bottles, you've got the likes of Birra Moretti, Peroni, uh, San Miguel, Sol. These are all premium beers back in our country. And you've also got access to Foster's, John Smith's and Strongbow on draft. So having the premium, you're only really getting Heineken uh, in draft. You're getting a few um, premium ales, if you drink those sorts of things, and a few extra bottles. Um, so is it worth it when it comes to the beers? Mm, I'm not too sure. We're now moving on to the cocktails and it was probably our prime reason for choosing the premium package. There were more or less double the number of cocktails available if you did have the premium option. Although I have to say in the end we were quite disappointed with the cocktails, uh, weren't we Dave? We were a little bit, even though there was fantastic selections, um, I think. They just put a little bit too much alcohol, didn't they? Yeah, there was no consistency from bar to bar. And I, I know certainly on one occasion, I watched them prepare our two drinks. And I think my glass had an inch more alcohol in it than yours did. They must have known. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I do think the cocktails should, uh, the training should be given to staff to make sure that they are of a good standard and that they're not just um, sort of tasting of alcohol. Yeah, I mean, th there was way too much alcohol. It tastes like paint stripper half the time. And, and people have said before, Morella have got this, this um, image of like a booze cruise. It really wasn't like that on board, but if they really want to get rid of that sort of um, vision, yeah, not vision, what's the word? If they want to get rid of that sort of image, image, they need to they need to start making proper cocktails where you can actually taste the juices yeah. and taste the flavours, opposed to just pure alcohol. 
Yeah, and I mean, we also noticed that the measures were just, there was no measures, was there? It no. was just haphazard, yeah. guest free pour. Um, so the drinks, as I say, were totally different depending on what bar you went to. I will just say though, that after a few days, we did um, sort of find the better cocktail makers and also the better bars for drinking them. Yeah, I, mean, I think a tip there is to find, go to all the bars and find a way to really get on with and stick with that waiter. So looking at the spirits as well um, in, the, in the menu book, uh, you'll notice that Premium All Inclusive has some fantastic uh, options there if you like your branded um, spirits. But if you look at the inclusive, you'll see that you've got a fantastic range of stuff that you don't have to pay for, stuff such as Gordon's, um, you've got uh, Teachers in there, Johnny Walker Red, Jim Beam, Bacardi. You've got some fantastic spirits in the all in the all inclusive package. So, do you have to buy premium? If you like those sorts of brands, yes, I would recommend the premium because I think it's good value for money for that type of branding. But if not, fantastic range in the um, all inclusive. We now move on to the hot drinks. Uh, I am a massive coffee lover. So again, I thought this would be quite important for me. I have to say that um, the hot drinks around the ship, apart from Coffee Port, weren't always um, very enjoyable. I only really had the chocolate orange on the premium and it was okay, but I wouldn't particularly recommend it. So again, I have to question whether the premium is worth it for the extra coffees that you do get. Uh, I will just mention that Coffee Port, um, the service, the staff um, was excellent and the standard of drink was really good, both the hot coffees and the iced coffees. Another big reason that we had the premium is I do like my cold cans of pop. And so it was quite important for me that um, when I needed one, and I did sort of think that I would be able to get one anytime, but found frustratingly that when I asked at Coffee Port one morning for a cold can of pop, I was told that it wasn't available until after 10 a.m. in the morning, which as someone on the premium package, I found a little bit surprising. So with Michael liking his cold drinks, um, especially in the mornings, you would imagine that the one and a half litre bottle that we got delivered to our room every night uh, as part of the premium package would have meant that we could have had cold water on tap in our room. But unfortunately, the bottles were delivered warm. There was nowhere to cool them down at all, which defeats the object of it really, because you're on the premium drinks package and you get this bottle of water, but at the end of every corridor, there is... Um, a water um, but that delivers ice cold water. I think it's quite surprising that they will give you on the premium package a one and a half litre bottle per day but when you leave the ship uh, the small bottles of pop are chargeable and even though you're on the premium you can't get one of those bottles when you leave and I think it would be much more sensible and would have been much more helpful for us if they did away with the one and a half litre bottle but allowed you to have the smaller bottles. No, I totally agree. And I think a really good tip, guys, and th this really worked well for us because every day we did this, we took those thermal um, bottles um, from home and um, we just filled them up every day. So they stay cold for 12 hours. So every morning or all through the night, we had ice cold water in our room. So Dave, we come to the big question. Mm. If we were to go on another Morella cruise, which is very likely at some point in the future, uh, would we go premium again? Well, it's a bit of a yes or no answer there, Mike. Um, I think what I'd do for the first week, I'd stay standard because there is an absolute a massive amount of different drinks on the standard um, package. Um, and I think then if, if I wanted to sort of advance out a little bit in the second week, I would probably pay the £80 uh, and go up to the um, premium drinks package. But for me, I think the um, all-inclusive, the, the standard package, holds everything you need. I totally agree with you. And I think the best thing to do is the prices, if you are all-inclusive, are in the book for upgrading to the premium drinks. And I think if you know that you really like a certain brand and you're going to drink a lot of that then maybe the premium would be worth having. But I think otherwise, go through the prices, 
see roughly what you would drink a day and work out whether if you did want to come off the inclusive which I don't think there's really a lot of need to then you know you'll know exactly whether you will spend more than what the package would be well thanks for that Mike and thank you everybody for watching if you liked our video please don't forget to hit the subscribe and like and tap on that bell for future updates